G'day viewers, this week we're back in the Tallarook Ranges for the Full Drive TV Challenge. This year it's being held over two days and two big episodes. We've got some fantastic vehicles, some tough stages, so let's get onto the tracks and have some fun with Life Off-Road. Today is the first day of the four wheel drive TV challenge. Really looking forward to the day. I don't know enough about the other competitors. Mark, I know in the Cooper car is very competitive and I know he's itching to get revenge from last year. I failed on the last stage, just didn't pick the right line. Grant's the man I'm gonna chase. He's the winner from last year and I wanna sort of try and get past him if I can. I'm probably most nervous about the other Nissan Patrol in the lineup, the Atlanta Tech Patrol, given that we're the only patrols in the lineup. I'm excited to see what he can do and then beat him at doing that. There's a GQ Patrol and we stepped up to the GU, so it'll be interesting to see how we go against that. But it looks good, whether it goes good, that's another story. I'd be pretty happy to just beat the Napa boys in their big fancy Raptor, I think. No, I'm going for the top. Yeah? yeah. Going for Piranha? I'm going for Piranha. Yeah, Grant? Grant's got it in for him. I know Grant's pretty aggressive, Mark seems to pilot the thing pretty hard, so we'll have to see how we go. We had a couple of tips from a few of the seasoned veterans. They might have stitched us up a little bit. Tire pressure started at 60 psi, but we're not that naive. What gave Grant the edge, I think, is probably consistency. I'm just going to follow his lead. My daughter, Nikki, she'll be my secret weapon. Hopefully she'll be there looking at the competition, seeing exactly what they do. Watch them and do better. That's yeah. the I do have a little friend to help me over this. I've got my little mascot with me, Cooper, and uh, he's with me in the passenger seat, so we'll just keep an eye on him and he'll cheer me on, I'm sure. Welcome to the Four Wheel Drive TV Challenge. Great to see some old faces here and some new faces. We have got some cracking stages and it is going to be three stages Saturday, three stages Sunday to decide the champion for this year. Now, Piranha, Grant is the reigning champion. He's got the trophy right there. Now, Grant, unfortunately, you've got to hand that back right now. Come on. Congratulations on last year. Let's, <laughs> let's see how you go this year. Now, as always, there are going to be a number of tricks to test you along the way. Now, to help you in understanding where the courses are and how they run, we've got a pace car. My name's Glenn. It's my first weekend out with these bikes, so I'm keen to get into it and see what the day brings. So Glenn in his V8 Monster on 37s is going to show you how it's all done and it's then up to you guys to get up there, give it your best shot, get the best times you can and get some points on the board. So the 4 Drive TV Challenge trophy is up for grabs. Let's get onto the tracks and get some scores. seconds. 30 seconds. Alright guys, that's how easy it is. Let's get the first car in the start gate and get ready to race. Woo Woo. I hope you're all excited. Welcome to special stage one. As you can see, it's a slightly rocky affair. So up through the start gate here, over this big slab of rock, around the big tree in the centre, and this is the start of the exit gate. That's it guys, a quick, easy stage, a straight run. Let's get excited, come on! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get the reigning champion into the start gate. First up on stage one is Grant in the Piranha Ranger. Three, two, one, go. 
Going first, difficult to know how hard to push. First event of the day, didn't want to go and do any major damage or get too far behind, so kept it nice and steady. But when I saw the other guys behind me give it horns, I thought, oh, I could have gone a bit harder. Time was, I think, respectable, no major hiccups. I couldn't make the corner. I had to do a three-point turn at the top. It's really tight. The challenge is not one on the first stage, so I had to be with my time. Hey, what was the time on that run? 41.83. Good run. Good. Feeling pretty nervous, but I reckon I'll give it a good hard crack. Three, two, one, go. Track on was a lot of fun. Pushed the car to its limit. Had that first big rock slab to crawl up to and then kind of round the U-turn there. I think what let me down was I did a bit of a three-point turn when I probably could have tried to just do it all in one go. I'm worried. <laughs> Everywhere else is all right, but what happens at the back end? Yeah, I th yeah. Because that's where you want to make up the time. I'll, I'll just close my eyes when we're going down. <laughs> <laughs> had Nikki in the car with me. She was helping me navigate. <laughs> and she was obviously holding Millie, the dog. I don't know where she is right now. <laughs> She's run off. We sound like really bad dog owners. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think every other car had to do a three-point turn. I knew if we took it wide, we could probably get round. First time we've ever done anything like this, so I had to stop the hands from shaking first. What was it? What was it? All right. 31. 31. Wow. That's crazy. That's wow. That is fast. I'm going to go into two wheel drive so I can do a burnout around the tree. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't my forte, but see how we go. Go. First time four wheel driving. It's a bit of a different experience for me. Just thought I'd take it nice and easy, nice and slow. Didn't really pay off because we come dead last. Nava did it in a respectable minute 13. Someone's got to come last. Thanks for Nava for volunteering. That's play in double speed and you'll be fine. Yeah, we'll have to fast forward that one. I'm a bit concerned. It's a nasty stage, but I'm going to do the best I can and try and bring the car home in one piece. Go! I was worried about getting up the rocky part and I got over that quite well. I had to turn around at the top end, which is a bit annoying. If I had a clean run around there, it would have been much, much better. This vehicle's fairly low, so it did strike a few rocks as it went through. 41.21 seconds for the Cooper car, plus a 10 second penalty for hitting the bunting. The run wasn't too bad, but that certainly put me back in the pack a bit. That hurt. Well done, mate. <laughs> How are you feeling? Nervous, actually, just watching all the other cars come through and... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Someone's got to be. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, round one was actually yeah. much better than what we expected it to be. It looked pretty daunting. But once we got up there and hooked in, it, it happened all pretty well, I think. Yeah, it was surprising, but yes, it did go better than I expected. Yeah. Well, what was the time? 38.40. Not bad. Oh, that was that. a surprise. Can I have another go? <laughs> okay. Scores for stage one. Who was fastest time? Lana. Lana Tech, fastest time. Ute Master second. New Tracks third. Piranha, Cooper, and in last place, I mean sixth fastest, Nava. Nava. Well done. Welcome to stage two. A nice, easy stage. Let's go and have a look at it. Pretty straightforward. Straight out of the start gate, down through this section. Turn right and follow the arc around. A little bit tricky here, a little bit tight through those trees here and even tighter between this section here. Watch out for the stump and a sprint for the finish line. That is how pace car does it. But this is your handicap. You gotta drive, stop, the driver has to get out, open the gate, drive through, close the gate, and drive to the next gate. 60 points up for the quickest car. Let's get into it. 
Having to get out and open and close those gates it really impacted my time through the circuit. So it was very good cardio today. I don't have to go to the gym this week, which is great. There is a 20 second penalty. Oh! He drives through the last gate, no seatbelt. All right, fair enough, I'll take it. For me, I know if I'd gone first, I probably would have forgotten all about the gate. My strategy was to just drive, be more thorough with gating, taking the gates off and putting them back, and being a bit smarter with where I parked as to how I could do it. Seatbelt, 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 seatbelt. All you're thinking about is driving. That's all you're thinking about. You're not thinking about even the gates, and especially not the seatbelt. Seatbelt, 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 seatbelt. Obviously, I had my little seatbelt alarm in the car with me. She was sitting there yelling, seatbelt, seatbelt. We thought about a bit of a plan, so obviously I'm going to jump out run through, open all the gates. And hopefully it's a bit better of a time than what the others have done, so we'll see how we go. We watched the first car go through and saw how slow it was to sort of get out, open the gate, drive through, close the gate, and then go to the next one. So we just thought that has to be a better way. If we open them all up, we can drive through, get some pace, and then come back through and close them all. When the ribbon broke, I was like, oh my god, I'm in trouble now. Hey! <laughs> well done. Two penalties. You didn't put the gate back on the right hook properly. Two gates. Oh. Ten seconds each one, the first and the last. Okay. <laughs> I've got a strategy. Right. I don't know if it's legal. I couldn't really do it any faster than I did. Yeah, I'm not that fast a runner, so <laughs> just not much I can do about that. I really wanted to get a better time to keep trying to beat and do the best I can. Come on, Mark. That was, didn't look much, but it was testing, trying to catch the time back. Cooper did it in two minutes 20 with no penalty, so pretty good. Puts him in second place for now. <laughs> we had that idea pretty quick, yeah. and then we kept emphasising the fact that as long as the driver yeah. opens the gate and closes the gate, that we're within the rule. Okay, okay, driver. So the driver has opened and closed the gate. The driver is opening and closing the gate. Drivers are clearly not closing the gate. You gotta go and close that gate that you drove through. The driver's <laughs> opening and closing the gate. Nah, no, he's opening it, he's not driver's closing. Driver's driving, he's not closing. Driver's not closing. The gate. 114 plus some penalties. The strategy I chose involved a bit of running, try to be as quick as I could. Watched everybody, worked out the quickest, best option, and uh, everything was going to plan until I got to the last gate. <laughs> 144. <gasps> okay. Sixth place, new tracks. Fifth was Nava. Fourth was Yikmaster. Third was Cooper. Second was Piranha. And first was Lanate. Are you sure? Is that Rick? Who do you work for? <laughs> Special stage three. Right behind you is the start box. It is a lovely drive straight down this meandering country trail. Nice and smooth. Just imagine the speed you can hit all this with. Nail it around this corner. Straight up here, do a U-turn. And drive back down the same course.
What's your plan? Uh, don't break the rules because you get stung. Guys, you've seen how it's done. What was that time, Danny? 32 seconds. You guys should be able to get pretty close to that, except 10 second penalty for every centimetre you spill. <laughs> Last year we had people doing a little bit of cheating and holding some water in their mouth then spitting it back into the cup. So we thought we'd just flavour the water a little bit before we put it into the cup the first time. Please, mate. <laughs> I need the toilet. Go! Simon first said water, I thought, great, we're going to be driving through some water. Oh. But no, we were carrying water. <laughs> the steering wheel's so wet. Trying to dry it with my hands. <laughs> 30 seconds, three centimetres of water. Not as wet as I thought I'd be. tried to put it in reverse and grab neutral and was sitting there wondering what was going on for a second. Yeah. No problem. It was like a six point turn at the top of the hill where we had to turn around. We got through pretty good. We only lost two and a half centimetres of water out of the cups. We didn't lose it all. I really need to make up more time coming back, so I went as fast as I could. I don't know where the cup is. It's gone. <laughs> I couldn't steer water all over the... <laughs> she just went flying. <laughs> Go! We only lost a little bit of water. Oh, dude! <laughs> and there was no snorkels required for that one. Playing by the rules doesn't pay. Put my son James along, he's grown up since the last trip. Nothing you want to share with the camera? <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> Mark from Coop, he lost everything. He obviously is going like a bat out of hell. There we go. One back. The bigger the rocks and the drops, the more water you spill. I was able to recruit my <laughs> long lost <laughs> Uncle Grant to help with some gear changes. Which I thought was, was really just it was pretty reasonable considering we were one of the only manual cars there. Talking second, yeah. Why don't you don't feed me? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Stage three, Cooper. Surely we give them points for air time. Fifth. Come on, 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 Nava. Oh, Look at that. Third is Piranha. Second is New Tracks. Ooh. Good on you, Mickey. And first is Lanazay. Oh. <laughs> no. Three, three. Nice work. Right.